Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1881, The Arcade Machine. Now, don't let the name fool you, this isn't your average game of Pac-Man. This object falls under the object class, safe, but that doesn't mean it's all fun and games. Let's dive in and see what mysteries this arcade machine holds. SCP-1881 is to remain unplugged and stored in a standard storage room. Only D-Class personnel are allowed to directly test the item, and they must undergo weekly interviews to assess any potential aftereffects. The arcade machine, SCP-1881, is functional despite some hardware damage. The screen frequently displays glitches, and a significant portion of the game's images and text are corrupted. The sound also tends to crack and distort. The machine does not display a title or any credits on the title screen, only the phrase, insert coin. It only accepts standard United States quarters, and only one quarter may be used at a time. Once a quarter is inserted, SCP-1881 launches its game, SCP-1881-B. SCP-1881-B is divided into different stages, each with its own rules of gameplay. These stages seem to succeed each other randomly. Commonly seen stages include, other stages appear more rarely, offering various skill and or strategic challenges. Notably, the game does not feature luck-based games or sports games where the opponent is of equal strength to the player. The stages themselves do not play in the same way when seen again, enemies increase or decrease in number, the player's movement and abilities change, and obstacles vanish and reappear. Notable cases include, about 30% of SCP-1881 B players report lasting psychological effects, such as nightmares related to its contents and occasional visual-slash-auditory hallucinations. Some even report hearing sounds from the game when alone in quiet areas. One interviewed case reported that their home video game console would occasionally launch SCP-1881-B instead of the intended game. SCP-1881 was found in an arcade in, Iowa, following the deaths of seven teenagers. The victims, mostly males, died in their sleep from respiratory arrest and or cardiac attack, with no prior life-threatening conditions. Five of the victims' names matched the initials on the high-score screen of SCP-1881-B. 